So I had not before this year used clickers in quantum mechanics. I taught junior level quantum mechanics last year without them, sort of a traditional class. And this year I've been teaching with clickers. And I find that it seems to really improve the ability of students to get through the class, to be alert, to be engaged, to not sort of fly away as the minutes and the derivations go on. This one tempting, but it's the wrong way around. Some people often have the misconception that clickers are just for introductory classes, but I think that they can be properly used in junior and senior level undergraduate classes. But very informally, I just spoke to a few of my students last year when I taught the traditional style course without clickers, and they reacted somewhat negatively to the idea that I was going to be trying that this year and thought that maybe I was being indoctrinated or something like that. And I also think there was an element of feeling that clickers were for freshmen and that they were juniors and that they were doing serious physics and that maybe there was some unseriousness about using it. And I think it may be hard to imagine if you've only seen it in a freshman physics context how concept test questions can be about sophisticated questions instead of about elementary things. I like how quick clickers are used in quantum mechanics, for example, because there's so many new concepts and it's usually an overwhelming number of new concepts in even a really simple discussion. I have no idea what happened between this step and this step or this step and I just kind of get lost and sit back. So it's, it's really nice to stop every once in a while and just have a couple of those little concepts that you get from class that you can put in your pockets. So before I started using clicker questions, I was um, an energetic and entertaining lecturer. That was sort of my style. And I had almost no clue what was going on in the heads of the students in the classroom. It's natural. I was thinking about what was likely to be confusing. I was projecting my own self onto the class. And um, it completely changed my teaching. When I first started using clickers, it was such, a, it was such an awakening to what were the students really struggling with rather than what I fantasized that students might be struggling with. But it means that not everything that used to be talked about in class can be talked about in the same detail in class. So in particular, some derivations, uh, some long derivations, and some things that are more mathematical have been not removed from the course, but taken from class to out of class. And so, for example, they might be in a homework problem now. I am optimistic, since we're nearing the end of the semester, that we will not have lost a significant amount of the curriculum that we want to discuss. You know, this is the old tension, you know, you, you want to teach more, but well, if you teach more and you don't teach it well, well, was it really worth it? Mm -hmm.